Hello. Today, I'm going to teach you about the compound binocular light microscope. The compound binocular light microscope is called compound because you're going to be focusing through two sets of lenses. It's called binocular because you're going to be looking through two light pieces and you're going to use light as your light source. We're going to go through, first of all, the parts of the microscope, and then we'll talk about how to use the microscope. The microscope is composed of the head, the arm, the base, and the stage. The of the microscope contains the eyepieces. There are two eyepieces. You can adjust the distance between the eyepieces by sliding them in and out to fit your eyes and make looking through the microscope easier. Within each eyepiece, there is a lens that will magnify called the ocular. Each ocular magnifies 10 times, so the specimen will be 10 times larger than if you looked at it without the ocular. Also in one of the ocular, there is a pointer and you can turn the ocular to move that pointer to point to specific things that you're looking at under the microscope. You can also turn the head by twisting the screw. You can then show other people what you're looking at under the microscope. Make sure to tighten the screw when you are done so that the head is immobile. Purpose of the arm is to attach the head to the base. The base stabilizes the microscope and it contains the light source. Let's talk a little bit more about the base and its components. Your light source. Here is your light source. On the front of the microscope you have an on off switch. Turn the light on and it will illuminate your sample. You can adjust the level of the light by turning the rheostat on the side of the microscope. The rheostat has a range of numbers from 1 being the lowest level of light to 10 being the highest level of light. Let's look at a close-up of the rheostat. Of your stage in the middle of the microscope is to hold your specimen. This microscope has a mechanical stage which will move the slide for you. You place the slide in this metal clip. That will hold the slide in place. If you want to move the slide forward and back, you turn this top knob located on the side of the stage. If you'd rather move the slide from side to side, you move the bottom knob. By using both of these knobs, you can center your specimen over the pool of light which is located beneath the stage. There are several apparatuses that help focus the light from the light source. The first one is the condenser. This entire thing is called the condenser. You can move the condenser up and down to make it closer to the bottom of the stage or further away by turning the condenser adjustment knob. Most of the time when you look at a specimen, you're going to want to have the condenser all the way up to focus your light. Also part of the condenser is this iris diaphragm. You can open or close the iris diaphragm by sliding this dial. The iris diaphragm will also help you focus your light on your specimen. The last thing that's located on this condenser apparatus is your blue light filter. You can remove the blue light filter using this metal knob. For most of your specimens, you're going to want the blue light filter in place. It's going to help filter out the white light and make it easier to see your specimen on the microscope. 
magnification, you are going to have to focus your specimen. You do that using two knobs that are located on either side of the arm. The larger outer knob is called the coarse adjustment knob, and the smaller inner knob is called the fine adjustment knob. Together, they will move the stage up and down, either closer to the objective or further away, and that will focus your specimen. The coarse adjustment knob will make large changes in the height of the stage, whereas the fine adjustment knob will not move the stage greatly. Together, they will focus your specimen. The last part of the microscope are the objectives. The objectives further magnify your specimen. They are located at the bottom of the head and directly above the stage. This microscope has three objectives and they are on a revolving nose piece. You can turn the nose piece and change which objective is directly over your specimen and therefore which objective you are looking through. The smallest objective is called the scan objective. It has a magnification of four times. Therefore, when you look through the scan objective, your total magnification is 40, 10 for the ocular, and 4 for the scan objective. Your specimen will be 40 times larger. If we turn the nose piece, we can change to the low power objective. The low power objective has a larger magnification of 10x. When you look through this low power objective, your total magnification will be 10 times 10 or 100. The last objective that this microscope has is the high power objective. This will magnify the sample the most. It is the longest objective. It has a magnification of 40. So your overall magnification when looking at a specimen through the high power objective is going to be 400.